Morning everybody, it's Phil here from Telford Koi Pond. Um, it's a lovely, fairly sunny Saturday morning, um, but it's blooming cold. So uh, jobs for today is, if you watch my previous videos, you will have seen that in the strong winds, um, I've got the roof, the netting ripped off the top of the pergola. So today I am replacing the netting on the top of the pergola. Uh, but rather than just a, a, a sort of a cheapy shade cloth, I've gone for something a bit more substantial. Um, and the way I'm going to do it is, this is the stuff I bought. So this is from a company called K.O. Spruce Limited. I'll get it out in a sec. Um, and it's heavy duty shade cloth. When you see it, for anybody that's got a caravan, it's like the, the caravan ground sheet type stuff, like a matting. Um, but what it's got running through it, whether it's steel or nylon, I don't know, but it's, it's absolutely impossible to break. It's, it's great stuff. So I'm going to put that over the top in three runs. Uh, I'm going to staple it down, but then I'm going to put uh, timber battens over the top of that, screw it all down, uh, and hopefully that will survive the strong winds. So I'm going to put you down for a second. I'll get this on the floor unwrapped, and then we can just have a quick look at it. So this is the uh, stuff. Um, this is 1.8 meters wide. The um, purlins or timbers or whatever you want to call them on top of the uh, pagoda weren't. Uh, spaced right so I'd, last weekend I just got them all off and re-spaced them so every third one is now is uh, 1.8 meters 1800 millimeters uh, but that's the stuff so it's not a solid uh, finish it is like a you know it's a, it's a mesh but honest to god it's uh, it's got nylon or something running through it you can actually see the fibers perhaps at the end here where it's been cut so as I say um, there'll be that'll be connected to four uh, rafters that timber down there will be uh, screwed on the top <laughs> um, and hopefully that'll do the trick so it's going to be a bit difficult to film and do at the same time so I'm going to do a bit and then I'll show you where I've got to and then uh, I'll just keep updating you so catch you in a bit afternoon people it's just gone uh, three o'clock on Saturday afternoon and I still haven't finished why does everything take ten times longer than you uh, you imagine it's going to I've uh, I've got I've got two-thirds of the way I've used every tool in my toolbox I've got paint everywhere we get in there though we are getting there as I say we've uh, made the most of things so that there believe it or not is the only waste from uh, a nine meter roll of this stuff so the first two bays are in as I said don't think it looks too bad it's uh, it's as taut as uh, as I can get it. It's just very very awkward getting up there. I've still got the last bay to go. So each uh, each three meter length of uh, material is uh, four three bays four bays. Can't remember. I'll just take you up on the ladders. So that's what it looks like on top. So we've got uh, it, the cloth itself is um, it's quite taut and it's stapled down to within an inch of its life across the top of the rafters and then I've put uh, battens all the way across the top to obviously spread the load and uh, you know just keep it in place and I'll put some sort of uh, decorative edging finial thing on there so as I say I've done the shed bit that was the hardest bit because I had to put another batten on the shed um, it's all the way across here as you can see I've just stapled that one so that one's stapled across. The other piece of cloth will go on top of that before I put the batten on top. And then the last piece of cloth will, uh, will span those three bays. So the fish must be thinking, what the heck is going on? I've had a couple of, couple of close falls where I've uh, been walking along this ladder over the pond and missed the runners. So the foot's gone onto the uh, polythene, but it hasn't actually gone through. So there we are, people. As I say, it's just gone three o'clock. I've just stopped for a drink. Uh, my good lady wife Claire's been uh, bringing me tea out every every hour, so I'm uh, knackered to be honest with you. But I just want to get it finished tonight, so that's the last sheet there. That's the one that's going up now, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be uh, a good job. So I'll come back to you when it's finished. Good evening, people, and it is nearly evening. It's twenty to six. I thought three or four hours I'll get this knocked on the head. No. Got up, took the dog for a walk this morning, started work at nine o'clock. Haven't had lunch, haven't had tea yet, but it's done. 
So it was, uh, it was, it was just a nightmare. <laughs> Bit of a balancing act. The actual shade cloth itself is absolutely superb, and because it's um, it's a lot stiffer than the stuff I used before, it sort of keeps its shape. Um, it probably would have been easier if I'd have done one bay at a time, um, but because the stuff's 1800 mil wide, I set the uh, I set the uh, rafters at 600, so I could do three. Um, thinking that would be easier but obviously with that much material flapping around and everything it was hard work but it's done now and as I say it's so much more sturdier than the uh, the last one so there's uh, it's stapled down on top of each um, rafter and then we've got uh, 22 by 45 mil um, timbers on top of this obviously going straight through to sort of uh, sandwich it so Hopefully, it'll be a bit more successful than the uh, than the last one was. If you have some strong winds, so that's it. I am happy, dirty, tired. Fish are uh, looking fantastic at the minute, as you can see. Just have a quick look. Goshki's uh, the Benny of the Goshki's coming out. Hyatt Two is really doing well. My um, Platinum Algon's fin is uh, healing nicely. Chagoy is getting bigger by the day, Biggie Small's getting bigger by the day, and my original Kahaku there, um, doing well. You can't see all the little ones uh, flying around. I don't know where uh, I'm the Kahaku is at the minute. Decided not to make an appearance. Oh, talk of the devil, there he is. That's my um, Dinichi Kahaku. Beautiful. I just can't wait to get the blooming covers off the pond. It's so depressing. Having said that, having them on while I've been doing this, putting the ladder across to do uh, to do a bit of the balancing act, it's obviously uh, saved me worrying about uh, dropping screws in the pond and stuff. So it's, uh, it's turned out to be a good thing anyway. So that's it for today, folks. I am knackered. I'm gonna have a bath, have something to eat, and uh, watch a bit of telly. And then we start all over again tomorrow with pond tests, filter cleans, happy days. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.